what's up fellow lords of gaming and welcome back to another episode of marvel future revolution today we're talking about events events guys um first of all first and foremost i like to say sorry that i've been away but unfortunately power outages happen and you know nor'easters and ice storms bring power outages thank you to the linemen and electricians and every you know service people out there on the roads who are trying to help people recover and get you know warmth and food back on their tables so that way you know we can go back to normal living these guys work long hours and they deserve our appreciation so with that said, let's move on right along into this discussion. We basically had a data patch last night um, and this data patch basically was supposed to bring a bunch of fixes. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest, it didn't bring anything. All it did uh, essentially was try to fix some optimization issues for, uh, you know, the game overall. But realistically, the patch did nothing but update us with some events and some uh, new purchases inside the store. So let's jump into these, right? So first up, we've got 2022 is here. 14 days of gifts. Guys, this is pretty decent. They're going to give us 500 crystals at the end of 1400 days. Meanwhile, we're going to get some rocket uh, baby Groot supply boxes and some rocket raccoon supply boxes, as well as some hero upgrade supply boxes. These are pretty good. Overall, you know, they're basically giveaway rewards. I'm not sure that these necessarily need to be an event rewards over the 14 days, but, you know, not going to complain at all about getting free stuff. You're going to get free gold. You're going to get um, some squad upgrade stuff. You're going to get some rocket raccoon and baby grew supply boxes which has the ability to drop those as well you're gonna get some convergium boxes which i don't know why they're giving those out but and then on day seven we're gonna get a draw take a supply box and then the 500 crystals those are pretty cool 2022 is here 14 days of gifts um i really don't you know I don't know it's it's a weird thing but you know either way bottom line is they're free events so you really 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 can't complain too much about shit like that like i i hate when people complain about free stuff like it's free guys it's it's free so like deal with it. it's free next up we have the daredevil secret mission um this one you know it's free shit still but it's free shit that you know i'm like huh really um and and that's mostly because of the training ground tickets uh, i feel very controversial about the training training ground tickets and and overall because they're just really really weird to me but basically train for 100 minutes train for 200 minutes and train for 300 minutes and you'll get three training ground tickets then we have to defeat so many enemies inside the training grounds you'll get some dimension supply tickets then you can enhance costumes and you'll get some costume tickets you can combine omega cards you'll get some cards level up some companions you'll get some summon companions at the end of this you'll actually acquire a one star deadpool so that's a uh, deadpool daredevil i wish it was a deadpool um you'll, comp you'll 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 get that as well so that's three of each of the tickets inside of all of our tickets um that you'll basically get from daredevil's secret mission so don't forget to complete those. I think the one that most people might forget about is the um, is the uh, the training grounds. Like I've finished using getting magic up to one ten, um, so I'll probably switch over to another character because unfortunately I ran on my training grounds for the week. So it is what it is. Um, next up that we have is going to be the New Year's weekly event. Um, now something cool about the New Year's weekly event that I like to be honest with you. Um, is I really love the art background to this uh, with the America Chavez character sitting inside here. Uh, maybe this is pointing towards America Chavez being our next character. Like she's being used quite a bit inside here. So it's pretty cool to see the character um, used overall inside here. I would love to see her introduced as a companion or a character. She'd be a really cool character to see inside the game. I think we're going to get her sometime in the movies as well. So that'd be really cool to see as well. But basically not a lot that you have to complete here. Just go play arena. Um, just do dimension duel do omega war and finally play inside dark zone earn 100 accumulated points which is not difficult at all to do 100 points is really easy to do tag along with somebody who you know is of a higher level team up with them and kill maybe one or two freaking most wanted targets you don't even have to kill i'm not most wanted normal targets uh, mo yeah most wanted targets you don't even have to kill prime targets in order, in order to earn 100 accumulated points so jump in there and you can get some uh dark zone tokens as well now unfortunately we know the case with these tokens so 
guys just make a cash a token shop like for all of these we just need a token shop something that we can save up enough tokens and just purchase outright we also are going to get the draw ticket selection box for collect for completing all of those events as well most players should probably be able to complete these within two or three days i suppose or you know a day realistically if you just go at it hard enough because this is just participation participation the hardest one is probably going to be defeat 10 opponents for some people you know i i hate to say that but it's the truth you know what i mean so it is what it is um so those are all of the new events that we have going on inside of the game but we do have uh so don't forget about the baby groups new year event that's still going the training magic upgrade and the newest magic hero i've actually forgotten about the baby crew once so i feel bad about it but we do have some other events going on as well uh why is that one not pulling up inside here i could have sworn there was another one going inside here oh it hasn't started yet it hasn't started yet okay so there's going to be a new event that's coming up as well it's called the training grounds extra rewards event and so with that one from 110 to 116 and from 117 to 123 we're going to have the training grounds improvement rewards so you're basically going to be able to accumulate squad upgrade uh supply boxes hero upgrade supply boxes omega companion shard boxes and companion xp card boxes i'll make sure i remind you guys when that one actually come uh so don't forget about that one coming up in the next week or so i guess that's going to be probably like monday of next week um lastly i was a little bit shocked and thrown off by this one if i'm being honest but there is no real festival events going um uh, other than this regional costume festival so if you go to the costume festival, we can see that there's a draw chance increase on all regional gears. So we can see Xanderf's cloak, Xanderf's pants, Midgardia, uh, you know. Is it, is it just Xanderf and Midgardia? Ugh. Yeeks. Yeeks. It's just Xanderf and Midgardia. I thought it was going to be the entire regional costume. So unfortunately, that's what it is. It's... it's Xanderf and Midgardia. So you can draw on that if you want to, I suppose. But there's no companion festivals, no Omega card festivals. I was especially surprised. I thought we were going to get at least get another o, uh, Omega card festival. But no, no. So those are all of the events that are currently happening in the game uh, today. Um, so it looks like the. If you're really looking for specific ones, you're going to have to wait another week for the festivals to roll over because we're going to have the regional costume festival for Midgardia and Xanderf this week. We're going to have Dark Domain and Hydra Empire the week of the 12th to the 18th. And then we'll have the um, Savage Shadowland, Sakaar, and New Stark City uh, the week of the 19th to the 25th. So all this month, you'll have regional costume festivals. Hope you guys enjoy those. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Uh, that's about it for events going on in this game. Until next time, peace.